Oh wow. Mm -hmm. This pretty difficult to make a carpet like this. Mm -hmm. How did you do that? Oh. Go. Hi hey, guys. Everyone. Salam Pachi Habi channel Imakush Amadid Matim Vavena Hastim. So before we start this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and click the bell button for more updates. Click the bell button here and you might get a flying Persian carpet for Christmas. Oh, I love yeah. that. Anyway, so um, I think the background for watching this video is that Vena asked me, so to Tim, what do you want for, your, for, for the holidays here? What do you want? And then I said, I want a Persian rock. And she's like, Persian rock? What is this? Yes, actually, um, Tim want me to uh, buy him Persian rock. Yeah. Yeah, but I told him that we will just buy that next year because we will move, you know, new house, yeah. new house next year. So today's video, we will do reaction to Iran. So we will do the all you, all need, you need to, to know, know about Persian carpets. So let's get let's started. Get started. Carpets and nomadic carpets. And then I have city plan carpets are those carpets who are made according to a pattern, like something, for example. Just remove it, the subtitle. Let's let's repeat. <laughs> just remove the subtitle. Like yeah, we'll just go start from the back and then we move to the start. Okay. okay. Ready? Mm. All right. Yeah. In Iran, we have two kinds of carpets: city plan carpets and nomadic carpets. City plan carpets are those carpets who are made according to a pattern. Like something, for example, <coughs> this, one. this is a plan for making a carpet. Hmm. You see, first of all, the weaver look at the pattern, and according to these ones, uh, okay. she makes the carpet. This is one square this centimeter, one for example, and there are the nodes you can see here. It's like I'll a camera and pixel. Okay. Uh, uh, just to understand it, right? So he's saying there's two kind of. Styles, there's nomadic patterns, uh, nomadic carpets, and what was the other, the other one? City pattern? I didn't hear that probably. Things like a pattern. Okay. Hmm. This is for city plan carpets. City plan. City plan because they are made in the city. Ah. Oh. Have a plan to make them. Also, we have some nomadic city plan. carpets as well. Nomadic. Made according to the imagination of people. So ah. Oh. The environment, animals, and different things according to their imagination. Wow. Makes the carpet. For example, yeah, something like this one. Wow. First of all, I show you some nomadic carpets. Each mm. of nomadic, each of carpets has a story behind. Mm. This one is from Kashgai tribe. They live in Shiraz and some parts of Isfahan. When the weather is cold, the nomad people start mm. traveling from here. They make some campings on the way, and they pass the gross mountains. Mm. They arrive to the new place here. They are symbols for roosters. You know rooster, the husband of him, the father of chicken. Ah. It's a symbol for nomad people who start a day early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And they are symbols for butterfly. Butterfly is a symbol for freedom of nomad people. Ah. Here we have tents of nomad people with different coloration. Mm. It is a season changing. It's going really fast, this video. Um, but just to, what he said there, right, that those nomadic patterns, uh, that's when the person who's weaving the the the, car the carpet, they're using the imagination, right? Yes. Uh, but there's so much symbolism in there with the mountains and like different animals, like the what it, the rooster mm -hmm. and like symbols for different nomadic tribes, I mm -hmm. guess. Wow. Hmm. Hey, I still want this one for. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you want to find if a carpet is handmade or machine made, you should look at the back side of the carpet. If you can find the same pattern as back side and front side, it's mm. a handmade carpet. Oh. But in machine made carpet, the, the company uses some sort of a glue. It is completely white. You cannot, uh, white. You cannot find the same pattern as back side and front side. Uh, also, in machine made carpets, if you fold the carpet, it will be broken. But in handmade carpets, you can fold the carpet, nothing will happen for the carpet. And mm. mostly in Persian carpets, all the colors are natural. Red from a skin of pomegranate, green from a skin of pistachio, mm. yellow from flower of saffron, some oh, like white, okay. brown, and black from bull of sheep. It is under colorations. So they use saffron you, uh, in Persian culture, use saffron for the rice, but yeah. also use saffron to color the carpets. Is hmm. that... Oh. Uh, yeah. 
I'm really fascinated with this one. Me too. This is the best, one of the best videos I've seen this in a long time. <laughs> This one is a carpet from Eastern Iran, from Sistan and Baluchistan. Eastern Iran, okay. Baluchistan. Zahedan, Zabol, Iran, and so on. This carpet is called marriage design. Marriage design? They are seamless for bracelets that the man and woman tie the knot and marry with each other. They are seamless for tens of new married people. And for these patterns, we call it hands and hips. When a girl in Baluchi tribe is ready to marry, she cannot say directly, I'm ready for marriage. She makes the carpet like this. She put hands and hips design on that. And when it is finished, she uh, stands in front of parents, hands and hips. Ah. It's an indirect way of saying, I'm ready for marriage. Oh, oh you know that? Wow. In the past, not these days. Because these carpets mostly from north, uh, east of Iran and uh, also from east of Iran. In margin of these carpets, we have hair of goat. Hair of goat means uh, it's a, because in east of Iran and northeast we have many snakes and scorpions. These animals they hate the hair of goat, so it is safe for family and children to sit here because they don't enter to the carpets. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's interesting. So I guess there's some kind of special hair in this carpet that that the, the scorpions don't like. Don't yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Wow. They don't like the. Uh, spelling and passion. And you are seamless for ups and downs in life. Sometimes you are happy, the other time you are sad, and so on. Killings. Mm. Killings are tougher and rougher in comparison kill him, to yeah. carpets. Uh, we use killings to put them on the floor to hang them on the wall or to bring them out for a picnic. Oh, yeah. It's reversible from Kashgari tribe. Okay? Mm. And uh, it's a simple pattern, but they are seamless for come to make the hair nice okay and uh, normally in the nomad people they make the comb out of wood and it was two-sided and it's a symbol for beauty among the nomad people here we have zagros mountains like you can see here and different coloration of mountain is a symbol for seasons changing mm. wow Best of Iran in, uh, for the stun. When a woman is pregnant, she starts giving a killing like this. If she wants a boy, she will make some goat on the killing. If oh. she wants a girl, she will make some birds on the killing. Okay, so if a woman in, in the Kurdistan wants uh, a boy, she, she weaves like goats on the carpet, and if it's a girl, she weaves bears. Hmm. <laughs> wow! <laughs> All has a meaning yeah. of that. This one is just uh, for boys. Okay? Mm. It's a simple. It's a. a oh my gosh! Camels, that too. Camel symbols for transportation. These mm. trees symbols for tree of life. Here we have tents of nomad people and mountains. This one is two techniques. Mm. It is needlework and embroidery. Ah, mm. oh, okay. So they add something on top of it after with the needle. Uh, first of all, it is woven. Okay. Then it is needlework. The nice. whole, you know. First of all, they should make it, uh, they should leave it. Hmm. This one is an old king from Bakhtiari tribe. That's cool. Bakhtiari tribe is the biggest tribe in Iran. They live in uh, near Zagros mountain in Charmal Bakhtiari province or Khuzestan province. It's a simple pattern. They are hmm. for tens of nomad people and mostly they have four parts. It's a symbol for four elements of life, fire, water, earth and wind. Oh. And here we have Zagros Mountains as well. Okay. Also, from Bakhtiari tribe, we have something like this. Maybe it seems to be a little bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> but why? Oh, it's kind of cool. Explain. Like this is it's kind of interesting, right? Like this one is a saddle bag. In the past, you know, ah. used to... Uh, put them on the backs of animals like horses and camels. Mm. And this part is softer, it is made out of carpet because while the animal was moving, it was something like this. It didn't mm. hurt the body of animals. Oh, wow. And the other part is killing. You just mm. use them to put them in the middle of sofa near. Yeah, I think this one is interesting, right? Because um, most of the... Um, Carpets are very symmetrical, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one is different, right? It has like, it's not uh, symmetrical in the same way. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that.
the best on for defense purposes. <laughs> Again, from back to his right. Something like this. In a smaller size, mm. they use it as a breath uh, mask. But mm. in this size, also sometimes they put it on the tent of uh, tent of themselves as the door of uh, the tent. Because it, because of that, it has some uh, decorations in different parts, like mm. this part you can see. Oh. And the mountains again. In the mountains in Zagros Mountains, yeah, this design they are symbols for Zagros Mountains and the the, uh, the area they are living. Okay. Hmm. And it's a simple pattern, like this one, which is a red mat. Ah, it's smaller. And then, and then they just pack it like this and put it in uh, one side of the tent. Also, similar for mountains oh. around, and here is the area they are living. They are pretty old. It's so creative. Yeah, it's nice, right? Eh? City plan carpets. Mm. Carpets which are made according to a pattern. Like, for example, this one is a combination of silk, wood, and cotton. Wow, that one. Wow, yeah. that one is beautiful. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Mm. It's very, uh, yeah, oh, wow. Oh, it's nice. This is, this is uh, it has two names. It is called Lachak and Torange design. Wow. In the uh, center, it's a symbol for Torange and four corner symbols for Lachak. It means that everything from four corners in the world goes back to the god and from the god goes to four corners in the world. Oh. Also, it, has another name. Uh, it is called Shah Abbas design. It's a, uh, because uh, if you see the pattern, and if you go to the mosque in Nashajan Square, uh, like Shah Mosque or Sheikh Tullah Mosque, you can see the same pattern. In architecture, it is called Shamse. And uh, mostly Shamse. you can see this on the dome of the <coughs> mosque, and also the twisted flowers. We have it uh, in different colors, in blue, black, white, and so on. It's really nice, the color. Yeah. Love it. We have Esfahan carpet. They have a lot. Mm. Esfahan carpet is silk and uh, wool. Also so we on. call it cork. Okay, cork is the highest quality of wool. I tell you, the design in this, uh, mm. the next carpet I'm going to show you because they have the same design. Wow. <coughs> this is the same design oh, wow. as that one, it is pure silk from comb. Pure silk. Between Esfahan and Tehran. And for this design, we call it Dome of Sheikh Lutullah Mosque. The mosque in so the detailed, right? in uh, Esfahan Square, I mean Nashajan Square. And it's a symbol for the sun in the sky, symbol for the stars. And when you look at it half side, it's like a peacock tail. Yeah, it's like peacock. All the in oh the my square. gosh, it's nice. <laughs> yeah. Our shop left of uh, Shah Mosque. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the video shows it, it's really vibrant. It's yeah. really beautiful colors. Yeah. It's really nice. The first time I, I saw it, it's really like carpet. peacock. Yeah. The color changes as well. If you just take a look at this one. This is 169 notes per square centimeter. The highest number of notes in a carpet in the world. Mm. Oh. Very uh, detailed, right? Like this. And one side is dark, the other side is light. Mm. This one is from towards and this is the back side of the car. Ah, okay. You can do it. Also, <coughs> I'm going to show you the flying carpet. Flying carpet? Flying carpet? Oh. <laughs> it's nice to watch this. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. Flying carpet is from northeast of Iran. From Saras in Khorasan province. Okay, but why do we call it flying carpet in Iran? Because it is very light. Ah, oh, nice. mm. okay. And if you look at the other side, you can see another pattern. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. It is pretty difficult to make a carpet like this. Mm -hmm. How did you do that? Oh. that is dark. The other part is light. Wow. And something. Like this. Wow. Mm. 
almost uh, one year and seven or eight months of work, more or less. It is almost like two years of work. The <laughs> yeah. The plants, the flowers seem as for the year. Mm. And the fruit which is going to grow is the same for the So when you work at like almost two years, so probably this is uh, one of the expensive ones. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh. But each of these carpets and killings I show you when we want to pack it, it is mm. very, very light, right? As I told you in hand, hey, we can get one. We don't need to uh, pack yeah. it like this. <coughs> mm. <laughs> But that's what that's one of the expensive one. Oh yeah, true. It's a really interesting color. It just yeah. Like yeah. The light it changes its color. It changes. It's like changes. kind of gold, right? Like Boom. I see how much it weighs. Not very heavy. Mm. <laughs> Let me take it, please, to show you some. Mm. Look, something like this. When we you give me your hand, so, yeah, it is easy to oh. carry. <laughs> 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 I'll be right back. You can't escape. <laughs> it's great. That's it. That is mm -hmm. It was a brief. Yeah, it was a brief explanation about Persian carpets from different areas in Iran mm. and uh, something like them. The price is also these days is pretty good because of the exchange ah. happening in Iran. Each euro was around thirty-five thousand here uh, around one year, eight months ago. But right now, each uh, each euro is over one hundred twenty thousand real. It means that the price of carpets four times get cheaper. Mm. Oh, okay. And so the last two, I think, were some of the more expensive <coughs> carpets, probably, right? Um, more or less, yes. Yes. Mm. We have more expensive ones as well. I, I believe you. And so, <laughs> just so we have a feel for, I mean, these are beautiful carpets. And so, w how much would this carpet cost these in euros? Carpets, mm. I show you from yeah. the festival now, uh, they, uh, they are in the range of 150 euros. Up to 4,500 or 4,000 euros, mm. oh, okay. more or less. I but see. it highly depends on the quality, okay? Because here we have a small carpet, it can be something like uh, 600, 700 euros mm. or dollars, or we have something very big, it is just 300 euros. Mm. Mm. It, it depends. depends on the uh, carpet. But we have size and design and coloration and in different uh, sizes. If you come here to a sun, you can come to a carpet shop. Flying carpet, it's called. Wow. Well, thank you very much. It was a great explanation. A I'll make sure to put this channel. on YouTube. Nice thank, you. Mm. thank you. Thank you. Well, wow. this guy is really great in explaining yeah. things. Like yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, I think he should write like a book. Yeah, because uh, actually, I think actually, I think it's an interesting idea, right? To write a book about the culture of Iran, like seen through the lens of carpets right because mm -hmm. he talks so much about different regions about different tribes and everything i think just like using carpets as a way to, to explain that that was really yeah. interesting right it is one of the best thing that you uh you know um knowing the culture of iran yeah. because uh, of the rugs the carpets yeah. yeah so am i gonna get a rug for actually carpets? Uh, we didn't know, uh, we don't know where to buy here in no, Singapore, true. but when I search online, I'm not sure if it's like legit or not. Mm. So maybe I need to search more because we uh, yeah. really want to have one, the real, you know, the real carpet yeah. one. Because nowadays, I think some of the people like, you know, selling fake ones yeah. and we really want the real one. But now we, now, now we have a few tips to know how to spot a fake one, right? You need to sit in the, the front the side, right? and the, the back, back side yeah. if it's tame. Yeah. So I hope guys you like this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And click the bell button for more updates. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, I love it.